All right, moving on, India has achieved a new milestone in space dominance in collaboration with the U.S. space agency, NASA. Earth observation satellite, NISAR, has been launched successfully. Three, two, one, zero. All L-40 engines generating nominal thrust. S-139 motor ignited. mission. The deafening roar of GSLV and beautiful silhouette brightening the Sriharikota star together. 7,800 kilonewtons. The launch took place minutes ago from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in India's Sriharikota. The launch of NISAR stands out for several reasons. The satellite will scan the entire globe every 12 days and is capable of providing detailed images of the Earth's surface in all weather conditions. Day or night, NISAR is powerful enough to capture changes as small as one centimeter in size. Scientists expect the satellite to provide new insights into processes like climate change and help us better prepare for them. The satellite carries two radar systems, a NISAR provided L band and an ISRO supplied, a NASA provided L band, that is, excuse me, and an ISRO supplied B band synthetic aperture radar. This makes NISAR the first ever satellite to observe Earth in two frequencies. And according to ISRO, the mission broadens the scope of international data sharing as well as a cooperation. Building on previous joint efforts such as astronaut collaboration during Axiom 4 mission. Weon was there at the launch of the site to witness this historic launch. Watch this report by Siddharth MP who was there at the ISRO launch site. In a 20-minute long launch mission, India's GSLV rocket successfully placed the NISAR or NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar Satellite into its designated orbit. For both NASA and ISRO, this is a massive success. For the NISAR satellite particularly, this is a beginning of its three to five year long life in space. NISAR will serve as a health monitor for the Earth. It will map the entire Earth's surface, including the land surface and the Earth's ice mass. This will be done every week and with every passing week, the imagery of the Earth can be compared and even centimeter level changes on Earth's surface can be studied. This data is available for the whole world. Anyone who is dealing with Earth science or any civilian can download it and try to interpret this data and use it to develop the learnings with regards Earth sciences. Let's remember that this is also not just an ordinary launch. This was also a launch where India-US space ties were elevated to new heights. Certainly, this is not the last in terms of ISRO's international cooperation missions. In fact, this is just a big beginning for ISRO's international cooperation. Future, we can expect joint missions of India with Japan and also with the European and French space agencies. So that's the kind of road we're looking at ahead for ISRO and India with regards international partnerships in space and space diplomacy. With video journalist Piyush from Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Arikota, Siddharth MP, Weon, World is One. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.